So while I'm waiting on my steam box to heat up, um, I might as well go ahead and finish another project. Hang on a second. Just the local four wheelers. But I'm gonna kinda, you know, just go ahead and finish off these five tobacco sticks right here. They're all sanded down, ready to go. Um, but what I'm gonna do real quick is, where did it go? I'm gonna get my, you know, my sanding sponge and I'm just gonna go over the corners one more time. Uh, so there are any splinters just hanging around that's gonna hit my hand while I'm putting the poly on and for the customer down the road. So these five tobacco sticks here, I'm gonna go take around to my little spray station and uh, set it up so we can get to get them sprayed and shined up. All right. Ah. See, I have the chain here that I'll hang them on. Working one-handed, so bear with me, please. Why you don't focus? Probably because you're wiggling around like a dang fresh caught fish. All right. So this is my little spray station, just a little corner of my fence line. And uh, let me go grab the other two and let's get to spraying. All right, so got my stick set up on the little on the little chain line right here, and then I'm gonna go get my sprayer set up shortly so I can get it done. Uh, the reason I'm back here is so the overspray won't really go spread all that far. Sure, to go over the fence just a little bit, but and the sun's out. You can see the sun just shining through right here. Just it's gonna be you know touching the sticks just a little bit to help them dry out you know, a little bit faster. And what I use is uh, polyurethane. You know, and, and I, I like poly, and it's, it's the oil base, not really water. Um, I've heard, haven't really had any personal experience on it, but I've heard that the oil base poly is more durable, and I just want more durable stuff on my walking stick. Sure, I'll try the water base in the future, but for right now, I like the poly. And working in tandem with the poly, I'm going to use this Wagner sprayer, and it does does fairly well. Um, I'm still I'm still learning it. I mean, it's not much to learn really, but I'm still learning. You know, a, you know, a few extra things that you can do to you know improve on the spray. But um, let me go ahead and get this done and set up so we can get these five knocked out. So those fives are done for right now, and that's just one coat. I'm probably going to do three. Uh, three should be sufficient enough because this sprayer really lays it on pretty good, but it missed it in a very fine mist, and it doesn't lay it on pretty thick and anything. It's, it lays out pretty even. Um, I'll, I'll let these hang out here and dry in the sun and breeze for about 30 minutes, and they should be ready for a second coat. But that's all it is for you know spraying, lacquering, polyurethane, um, whatever kind of shine you want to put on your stick whatever kind of sealant that's how i do it i mean a lot of folks wipe it on a lot of folks i don't even know just wipe on and spray that's really the only way i know of some folks actually dip it dip it in the whole buckets of it and 
you're just asking for a bunch of drips and streaks and everything like that and so I just spray it on now granted you can spray it on too thick and you'll end up with a bunch of streaks because there's so much polyurethane on the stick and it's just going to run down the stick especially when I hang it upside down like this um, but anyway you guys have a good evening get out there have fun and keep sticking to it have a great day